Welcome everyone to the eligibility web website tutorial. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do in the activities department was to offer a quick run through for everyone that may have questions about the new eligibility website. So I'm activities director Sean Irwin and also joining me today is the AA in the activities department, Mrs. Kearns. And we'll be walking you through several different uh, phases of the process. And it really will only take us about two, three or four minutes today to walk you through the several steps. So hopefully you find this a lot more useful than turning in the big thick packet of paperwork that we've done in the past. Uh, the new website actually um, gets rid of all those different uh, pieces and processes and really streamlines it into one. And as you'll see today, uh, a lot of different things that we can do through this and uh, really helps make the process a lot easier for our parents and our coaches and also gives them a lot more resources at their disposal that they're going to be able to utilize. So the first thing that we're going to do today is in order to find the eligibility website, you can actually go to our activities department website, which is located at www.howlvikings.com. When you go to our website, what you can notice on the right hand side, there's some quick links. And at the very top is the MISHA activities and sports registration um, eligibility link. And directly underneath that is the MISHA physical packet for 2021. And what we're going to do today is we're going to start there with the MISHA eligibility packet. Um, and one of the things that you're going to need is you're going to need a physical. And those physicals are good for two years. Uh, those that were here last year, Howell, or that had a physical that is after February 1st, 2019, uh, you're going to be able to utilize that physical. Uh, this packet right here is the only paper that you're going to upload to the eligibility website, and we're going to walk you through that in a little bit here. Um, I'll turn it over to Mrs. Kern so she can kind of walk you through this and let you know what pieces you're going to need from this physical packet that can be found at HowlVikings.com. So the first five-page document now, the first page is valid for two years if it was done after February 1st of 2019, and that is the page you will take to your doctor for your physical. If you already have one on file from last year, you can contact the activities office so that we can get you a copy of that if you don't have one. The next four pages need to be filled out by you and a student. This whole packet will then be uploaded to your student's activities registration account. And once you've completed that, we will get an email in the activities office that that process has been completed. All right. So what everyone will need to do is just go to the howlvikings.com website. And if uh, to upload that um, MISHA physical packet paperwork, just click on that link, download it, get it, uh, get it filled out. And then what you're going to do is we're going to show you here in a second. You're actually going to upload that paperwork to the eligibility website. One of the things that I can share with parents is that if you don't have a scanner or some of those things at home, uh, whether it's uh, iOS or Android, you can actually download free apps uh, to your phone where it will. you can actually take pictures of those and you can save it um, and then you'll be able to upload it to the website. Uh, so very, very simple to do. There's a lot of different free apps out there where you can utilize those different pieces. So what we're going to talk about now is the actual eligibility website. Um, when you click on the link at HowVikings.com, it's going to take you to our eligibility website that looks like this. Um, on the first page of the eligibility website, you're going to find a six-step process that's really just going to kind of give you a little background information on the steps that, that need to be completed in order for your student to be involved in an activity or sport here at Howell. Um, so what you're going to do is at the very top, uh, it will be updated soon. It's going to give you some dates and deadlines that are in place for our, our sports, uh, depending on the season that it's in. So you'll see those updated soon. Uh, and then you can scroll down and you can see the six steps that are included there. Uh, it answers a lot of questions uh, regarding the process. So you can really just look through there. Uh, for those of you that are visiting the website for the first time, you're going to actually set up and register your account. So if you scroll to the bottom, you can actually click on that link. Uh, and then it's going to take you to this page here. 
once you get to this page, if you're a new user, you're going to click on create a new account. Uh, the nice piece is, is if you've already created an account, you can just log in um, for the returning user. The nice thing too that I'll share about this website is that it is by family. So if you have multiple kids and maybe some of those kids aren't at the high school level yet, you're going to be able to add them as time goes by. Um, you'll already have your crea uh, account created. So it's going to make it real simple. So hopefully uh, that saves everyone a lot of time. But so the first time that you log into the website, you're actually going to want to create an account and you'll actually log in to the view here. You'll log in as a new user um, and we're not able to go too far into the account uh, because you have to complete information to go to the next steps. But what you're going to do is you're going to log into the account. You're going to create a new account. Um, and you'll go in there and it's going to ask you for information. It's going to ask you for uh, emergency contact information, uh, just contact information for you and your student. Um, it's going to have you sign off on our handbook and all of those pieces that used to be in paper will now be combined all in this one site. The one nice piece is it auto populates all your information. So you're really only filling it out in one spot and then it's filling it in in the other places that you need that information. The one thing that I'll also share with you that is very nice is that uh, this actually links with our hallvikings.com website. So when teams are finalized, uh, you'll instantly see the rosters that are present on our website. The other nice piece is all of our coaches are going to have access to an app that is actually going to provide them access to all of the students that are on their roster and all of their emergency contact information. So if for uh, some uh, situation to where we need to get a hold of parents and things like that, it's going to be nice. Our coaches are going to have access to that app and are literally one or two clicks away from uh, getting in contact with you or any of the emergency contacts. So really nice tool that uh, is going to offer our coaches a lot of things and also our parents as well. Um, definitely encourage you to get in and start doing um, this now so if you have any questions feel free to ask us i will be glad to help you out um, if you do have any questions regarding this process or you need help with it please feel free to contact the activities department you can email myself you can email mrs kearns you can give us a call and we'll be glad to get back with you and help you with any of those things so definitely uh, appreciate all you guys tuning in today. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, and we hope that this process definitely streamlines a lot of different things for you and uh, makes it easier to uh, get your uh, student ready for mission-sponsored activities and sports here at Hall. Thank you, everybody, for watching.